All right, gonna go in the south entrance. All right, here's the pricing. All right, here is the map of the Minnesota Zoo. It's good sized property. They have multiple loops and trails, they're called. They take you around through everything. So this should be a fun experience. I'm looking forward to being here. All right, so they have the arrows pointing to different areas of the zoo. All right, so from the inside building, when you come in, come to Snow Monkeys. Yeah, quite a few of them out here also. Can they climb up the trees? Zoo primates got rank and order. Good sized habitat for these snow monkeys. See lots of stuff for them to climb on. We got communication. I already got 3M penguins of the African coast. Yes, these are warm water penguins. There you go, African penguins. A lot of condensation on the glass. You see underwater view. Several of them in the water. And just snap it around. Yes, and not all penguins are cold weather. Not all from the Arctic. But just like the Arctic penguins, they love water. I know. I just keep the water. Mommy, look at that! Just keep the way you just want the water like that. Nice and slow. Why you the got lots of information up here. The penguins of the world. Penguin Cafe. This is their menu board. Lots of seating. So you see the monkeys there on the outside. All right, welcome to the beehive. It's a small play area for little kids, one to three. We got Timber Lodge Traders. So this is where I'm going to look for a hat. I know they got to have hats here somewhere. Just got to find them. So yeah, they got all sorts of good stuff here. So obviously the gift shop's going to have lots of plush. And toys and games for the kids. Okay, so I spoke to one of the ladies. He said the adult hats are kind of spread throughout. Still not seeing any. All right, so I did find hats. A lot of them say kids. However, there is one here that does not specify that it is a kid's hat. All right, never mind. It does say youth hat. Won't fit my big head. Alright, uh, a nice lady that works here helped me find a 
hat that says Minnesota Zoo, and it is an adult size hat. So price $26.99. A little bit higher than my average hat price, but it's still worth it. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip, and I am in Apple Valley, Minnesota, and today I'm visiting the Minnesota Zoo. This is the AZA accredited facility. You see, I just got my hat right here at the main entry building of the south entrance. Uh, I'm gonna show you a map. This is a good size zoo. They have different trails that they're called that brings you around to the different areas of the animals. So I'm excited to check this place out. Hopefully it's gonna be a great day to view lots of beautiful animals. It's supposed to be really nice weather today. So I'm very, very looking forward to this. All right, so I am essentially right here. So we got the Tropics Trail and then the Minnesota Trail over this section. And over here they got locker rentals and restroom locations. Also got Call of the Wild Cafe. First up here we got Scooped. That's what they've got. Next up we got Trek. Now at the other end you got pizza. Also got a good variety of stuff here. Yeah. And of course lots and lots of indoor seating. Alright, here we go. Tropics and Minnesota Trail. Right through these doors. Alright, coming through the doors. We're coming to this big giant indoor building. Alright, we go. Tropics. All right, so first up, Tropics Trail. All right, I can already tell this is gonna be fantastic. We got biodiversity hotspots. First up, Madagascar. Land of lemurs. Madagascar and giant tortoise. Look at that. The giant ghost of Madagascar. Elephant bird extinct. But that's huge. Madagascar and pygmy hippopotamus extinct. And a giant sloth lemur extinct. However, alive, we got radiated tortoise. Cute! Coming over to get some yummies, maybe. Up, oh, I do see another one. There we go. We got another little hiding spot. Looks like they got a nice heat lamp in there for them. Got a bobob tree. So obviously this is a reproduction, but this is actually what they look like. Looks kind of like an upside down tree. We got tomato frog. Very nice looking habitat. Oh, I do see one. There we go. You can definitely see how it got its name. It's a red like a tomato. Madagascar hissing cockroach. Yeah, oh yeah. Good old little cucarachas, man. Oh boy. Got ring tail lemur. Tail lemur habitat. There they are. Most well known species of lemurs. 
partially thanks to the Madagascar movies. You know, King Julian. Got forest primates. The faces of the forest. Next up we got Africa. Just the inside of this place is just phenomenal. Got Africa's three crocs. Nile crocodile, dwarf crocodile, and slender snouted crocodile. We got African cichlids. Yeah, so cichlids come in a variety of colors and sizes. Always nice to see cichlids. We got West African dwarf crocodile. <laughs> oh, this right up here. We got the other one in the back. You must have kept these guys really well fed so you don't gobble up all these cichlids. Because you get to be in the same water with them. We got African fruit bats. Trying to see him. I actually really like bats because they got those really cute fuzzy faces to them. Alright, so I'm looking all over the place and I do not currently see the bats. So they might be still in the back. This is zoo just opened, so I will come back a little bit later. We've got Red River Hog. I always enjoy seeing these guys. Really like the coloration on them. The whole thing is to be able to see them. It's got black and white Columbus monkeys. These are in the same habitat as the Red River Hog. And also the Brazos monkey. Again, share the same habitat. On the back now. There we go. I can say they were there, then they just ran in the back. And of course, it's a black and white Columbus monkey. I saw the DeBraz's monkey not that long ago, so must be must be in the back also. So I'm gonna come back to this area a little bit later. And hopefully the other animals will be out. That's still early. Next up we got Asia. The largest continent. Got star tortoise.
Also in that same habitat, you got Bali Mina. Critically endangered. bottom all right so the star tortoise is I guess gonna be in the back here just not seeing him at the moment so again I'll check back a little bit later there we go uh, Komodo dragons Wow, Komodo Dragon has a really good looking habitat. There we are. I thought you were going to say like a dragon, like a real dragon. Wow. Really girthy. See this Komodo dragon is well taken care of. There's some like it hot. Again, I really like this inside area. Got lots of benches around also. Oh, we got Northern White Cheat Gibbon. Where the gibbons would be. Don't believe they are out just yet. Looks like they're doing some work over here on the habitat. They're getting ready to fill up the water because all the water is gone also at the moment so they must be doing some cleaning. Hey, hey, we're not monkeys. So hopefully when I come back a little bit later, they will be out. And hopefully there'll be some water out here also. Because all these poor ducks, man, just seem lost without their water. Look at Asian freshwater fish. There's a lot of condensation on the glass, plus there's lots of reflection, so I actually have my camera right against the glass. It's also very dark. Woo! Wow! <laughs> it came right out, look at him. He's like, ah, oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? He sees it right against the glass. <laughs> Look at him. He just came right at the glass, man, with his mouth open. That's a big fish right there. Got fish in crisis. Got waterfowl in the tropics. Lots of different ducks. Say workers in there. Ooh, even got some flamingos down here. And everybody seems lost without their water. But they occasionally have to drain the water to get it clean. 
Yeah, it says nice. Do you love a good waterfall? This is smart dock over here with this water. Yeah. That's a pretty looking dock right there. Got indicator species. Yes, there we go. Got lesser flamingo. In case you are not familiar with my channel, I am a big fan of flamingos. They were my second favorite type of bird. Favorite one being the kookaburro. So always enjoy seeing the flamingos. And hopefully when I come back a little bit later, the animals will be out and there'll be water in here for them. All right, we got rhinoceros hornbill. These are also some fantastic looking birds. We got a horn for honking. There we are. You guys got lots of space. Oh, there we are. Woo! Bouncing along. There's cool looking birds here too. Hi. Get in the nest. Try to make it easier for you guys to read. These are birds of the tropics. Lots and lots of different ones. Yeah, this habitat has all these other birdies in it. Yeah, we got a bitter on. Bitter on habitat. Again, I am not currently seeing the animal. So usually the animals have access. Oh, I'm sorry. I see them right here. Totally hiding. I was just about to say animals have access to go in the back or come out in their habitat. And then I saw the bitterong. Obviously very good at climbing. Oh, I'm gonna climb up this little, uh, little perch area up there. Yeah, there we go. Got a little spot to chill out and relax. All right, I'm glad I noticed them. Disappearing rainforest. So we got Malayan taper. All right, there is the tapers habitat. So lots of spots where it usually hangs out. Here we go.
Got that long snout. Sort of like an elephant where they're able to actually use their snout. See how he wiggles his little nose. Usually I see Malayan tapers such as this with the black and white. However, at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado, they are one of the only zoos, I think actually the only zoo in North America that has the mountain taper, which are all black. This really cool. Now, just like they have copy, these guys have an odd mix of spare animal parts, is what it looks. The taper also has some nice water to be in. Hey, you gotta go in the water now. Must have heard me. Here, I'll demonstrate. We get Asian forest tortoise. He's taking a bath. Was just kind of staring at me a moment ago. Was he? Sometimes I think they're they're aware that we're here. <laughs> Got lots of water. Oh, and the birds enjoying the tortoise's food. So yeah, this is also our free flight aviary. So we got lots of little birdies in here. Got underwater rainforest. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Lots and lots of beautiful fish in here. First, and you get all the all the faux rocks. Leave only bubbles. Another gorgeous waterfall. All right, so the pathway goes down slightly. So we're gonna get a great underwater view of that fantastic tropical reef. There we are. So much nicer looking underwater. Got some Picasso trigger fish, thread fin butterfly fish, big nose unicorn fish, black soldier fish, pennant cardinal fish, white spotted puffer, emperor angel fish, raccoon butterfly fish, big old giant zebra shark, orbiculate batfish. White spotted bamboo shark, Port Jackson shark, powder blue surgeon fish, clown trigger fish, harlequin tusk fish, pellet surgeon fish or dory, convict tang, fox face rabbit fish, and spotted unicorn fish. Always like when a zoo has an aquarium because you're basically getting two attractions in one. And being an easy accredited zoo, 
This is something I would come to expect. Here we go. Yellow tangs. Ooh. This is absolutely gorgeous. There's Whoa, a shark on the bottom. Did you guys want to see sharks? Zebra sharks. Look at uh, zebra yep. zebra sharks. Oh yeah. And it looks. Let's go look at the shark. And it looks like it. Look at that. Look at those big sharks. Oh, I really like these kind of fish right here. It's like woo 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 woo. Go, we got the living reef. So, yeah, there was lots of different reefs Caribbean reef, United States reefs. Oh, we got Cape Porcupine. Okay, Perky finds the ones with the really long quills. Really cool looking habitat. Oh, we got this cool habitat here. You see the tree kangaroo. Really cool. Alright, so they have a temporary wall up, so it looks like they are doing some renovation work on portion of the habitat area. So we're going to go down this hallway, and it will continue once we get past all of this. Now we got Lynn's two-toed sloth. Got the habitat. All sorts of stuff for the sloth to climb on. And there is the sloth. You just gotta look up. Because chances are they're gonna be sleeping. Got Burmese python. This is a really nice habitat also. And there is the snake. Oh, there I see we go. Way in the back there, way in the back there. Huge size snake right there. <laughs> Good Asian songbirds. So that's the other side of the rhinoceros hornbill habitat. See wherever those people are, that's where I was. Good eating fits the bill. Lots of other birdies being here. There we are. Upper portion of the tree. Home tweet home. Oh, we got water birds of the Americas. Hi, duckies. There we go. There's the spoonbills. I think top left is a scarlet ibis. I 
There you go, there's one of the other birdies. Beneath the canopy. Got more birds in Americas. Got crested or pendula. Do you not see this bird? So, uh, it looks like this area all connects. So I'll be coming back to here again later. South American hotspots. Amazon rainforest. Cerrado. Atlantic forest. All right, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this because I'm gonna just mangle it. Tropical Andes. The Chilean winter rainfall Valdivian forests. Here we got red rubbed agati. I think there's something Kennedy up this way. The boys are looking at something. I saw you wave. And then there with me got Bolivian green titi monkey. Trying to find the agouti. Oh, but there's the titi monkeys. Oh, there's the agouti. Here we are. It's further back. There you go. These are cute little animals. Oh, there's two of them. Here we go. Here we are. Here we go. There are cute little animals. All right, golden lion tamarin. All right, so normally the golden lion tamarins will be in this habitat. However, there is a secondary sign here stating animal visitor. So instead of the gold lion tamarins, we got a Von der Decker's hornbill in here. In case that doesn't sound familiar, if you ever saw the Lion King movie, Zazu was that type of bird. But we'll take the safe hot spots. Oh, this is interesting. It's a Komodo dragon skeleton. Hopefully this animal lived a nice, happy, long life. Then we got a boa constrictor. I'm assuming this is taxidermied. All right, so this is the entrance to the rainforest trail. This is the hallway that the trail ends. Next up, we're gonna have the Minnesota Trail. There we go, Medtronic Minnesota Trail. There are restroom locations right before you enter. This is Minnesota is distinctly different. Several different areas of the state. Yeah, Minnesota's deformed frogs. No introduction needed. Yeah, Minnesota's turtles. Got 
really nice looking habitat here. But there's a toad right there. Here we go. Got an American bullfrog. This is nice. But there is the bullfrog. There we go. There we go. So that northern leopard frog, American toad, and a mud puppy. So yeah, lots of northern leopard frogs in here. See the froggies. Uh, so I'm assuming the mud puppy would be in the water. However, I am not seeing him. Could just be up here somewhere hanging out with the frogs. But mud puppies look a lot like axolotls. So this is really nice inside here. Looks like you're in a log cabin or a lodge. All right, let's go check out this Minnesota trail. We've got human altered habitats. Some animals don't do good, others thrive. Strike skunk. And then Virginia opossum. There we go. Oh, I see the possum is inside the little box. There we go. I can see part of them right there. It looks like the skunky is inside of the other box. Yeah, you're gonna want to. We've got wetlands, critical source of life. Got Vader is the purple loose tree. It's just gonna be this with the purple berries on it. All right, we got beaver. Oh, hi! Hi! Got underwater view of the beaver. He pooped again. How many times do you do this? This is probably his toilet area. How many times do you have to do this? Is this your toilet area or what? He's collecting the stick. He was pushing the stick to the ground. There we go, the beaver outside the water. I love how they eat, they hold it with their hands. Yeah, we have the beaver here. In the wetlands. Get agents of change. So this area resembles a cave system. Another viewing area of the beaver. Underwater view. Got beavers and their dams. There's a beaver. Here we go. See that beaver tail. Ooh. So he's going potty. Yeah, man. Well, come on, everybody poops. Go invaders in water. Got mighty muscles. Oh, 
we got this tank here. Got some large sturgeon fish, long nosed gar, walleye, musky, largemouth bass, northern pike, bowfin, bluegill, black corby, black trout, and channel catfish. So majority of these lake fish I have seen before. And they're also all throughout other portions of the country. These are basically the type of fish you will see in most streams and rivers of fresh water. Got land of 10,000 lakes. All right, we got we river got otter. Ahead of us. Yeah. It's here we go, like river it. otter. Definitely enjoy the otters. Go above water, and then of course you go in the water. Here we go. Here we go. Not always in the water. Just a good portion of the time. This one is Mm hmm. All right, we got coyote. Wow, this is a really nice looking habitat. Trying to see the coyote. All right, so I'm not currently seeing the coyote, so I will check back a little bit later. We got porcupine. Different type of porcupine than the Cape porcupine we saw earlier. Another fantastic habitat. Porcupine. Next up, we had a fisher. It's the fisher's habitat. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute little animal. Lots of little kid fingerprints on the glass. We got gray wolf. Hi, Kennedy. Are you an animal? There is the gray wolf habitat. You can see the coyote in there. Just like the coyote habitat, lots of places it could be hiding. Main difference between wolf and coyote. All right, several people were talking about they saw the coyote, and here is the coyote. In its little den. Oh, uh, kind of looking at me now. Yeah. Or cold up. Trying to take a nap, but I guess everybody's being loud. So cute. All right, we got great horned owl. Also got red fox. Guess they share the habitat. And because the position of the sun currently is casting a lot of shadows or reflection on this mesh, so it's kind of hard to see in here. So I don't see the owl. Actually, no, wait, I do see the owl. The owl is right there. There's the owl. There we are. Yeah, there's the owl. Very pretty owl.
Okay, so the fox is right here. We'll leave it right there. Unfortunately, if I zoom in anymore, it's just going to show the mesh. But yeah, you can see the gray fox's fur. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Between Minnesota and the tropics. What is this go? I don't know, but we're continuing the line. All right, additional habitat of the gray wolves. There's a gray wolf. Looks very comfortable. Oh, another wolf is just behind the tree. You just see a little bit of it moving. Oh, and there's a third one. Third one's right here. Got the pack. Here we got communicating by sound. Got the wolves of North America. Rocky Mountain, Arctic, Great Plains, Eastern Timber, Mexican, and Red. Yeah, so the wolves are gorgeous. Got other side view. And there is a third wolf that was partially hidden by the tree. All right, here we go. Woo, woo, woo. Here we are. Oh, wow, yeah. This one's got a darker gray coloration. Whereas the other two had a lighter gray coloration. There he goes, coming down and playing in the dirt. Oh, there we go. See, they'll dig in the dirt. Just like my dog at home, he'll dig in the dirt until it gets nice and cool, and that's when they'll lay down. See? Just like a dog. Nice, cool spot to lay down. Yeah. I'm digging a good spot. Yep, yep, yep. Fun with wolfies. Oh, we got Wolverine. Now, I do not currently see the Wolverine. This guy's going to have access to be in the back. That's where he's going to be. So I'll check back later. Well, so there's a secondary habitat. Just a little further up the path, and here's where the Wolverine is. Yeah, look where we go, Wolverine. But really, really nice looking habitats here. This area is nice and open. It's got a really great breeze out here. See some invasive species of trees. You got worms. And gypsy moth. Good, know your neighbors. So I get you a better view of the Wolverine. Yeah, he's close. Up, up, up. All right, we got bald eagle. Very majestic bird. Bald eagles in zoos are usually here because they are injured and are not able to survive on their own. They basically become ambassador species. 
As a matter of fact, I just see a sign here. All right, we got Puma. Puma's got a really, really nice looking habitat. Not a very good person. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it is. They're sleeping. <laughs> Trying to relax. Uh, All right, we got a can of Lynx. All right, so Lynx has a really, really nice habitat. Just found out I've been saying uh, Lynx incorrectly. I've been saying Linux. And you can actually see the animal right here. There we go. Right there. The tufts? There we go. Oh, no. Just okay. a distinguishing okay. feature? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just napping. And Lynx. In peril, Lynx. Got bears of the world. Got American black bear. Asiatic black bear. Andean bear. Brown bear. Giant panda. Got polar bear. Sloth bear. And sun bear. Well, here we got American black bear. If that glass wasn't there, I don't think we would be here. <laughs> no, I still oh, won't yeah. be scared. You wouldn't be scared? I would. Oh, moving. I'd be kind of nervous. Where's he going now? Got black bears in my home state of Florida also. Another fantastic natural habitat. <laughs> Just sitting there. <laughs> Just chilling out. It's a good place to sit down, yeah. Got the bare necessities. Got Minnesota's cultural heritage. So just got finished with the Minnesota Trail. These two trails here were phenomenal. Very, very impressive. Really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. I know I'm saying really a lot, but that's how much I enjoyed it. I saw all the animals in the Minnesota Trail. There are a few that I didn't get to see in the Tropics Trail. So I will come back a little bit later and hopefully get to see some of the animals that I missed. All right, so I am outside now. more picnic tables here for groups of kids that bring their lunch. We still got summer camps going on, so that's where all these kids are from. They got a T-Rex cookie truck. This is what they've got available. All right, so show you the map again. I just came out of the Minnesota Trail, did the Tropics Trail. So I believe I am like right here in this area. Now the cool thing is with the treetop trail, you can see that's in black. This used to be their monorail loop. But after years of constant breakdowns and several electrical fires, they discontinued the monorail. So now that is a complete walking trail that you can go around and get a high up view of all the animals. All right, so again, in addition to the maps, you got the arrows in different directions and other areas. I did a Tropics in Minnesota Trail. So now I'm gonna be heading this way to get to the next areas. So this right here is the entry building, just a little higher up. So I'm going to follow the pathway, leads down, going to head back inside the building, 
and head this way. This other side view of the monkeys and the outside view now. You saw these monkeys first thing. Hi. Hey everybody. Oh, got a little baby down there. All right, so I backtracked to where I first came in. Now I'm gonna be checking out everything on the left-hand side. I'm gonna check out Discovery Bay, then do the Northern Trail, Family Farm in the back, and last I'll do the Treetop Trail. All right, this way to Discovery Bay. Now they do have a small little gift shop here. There you go, Discovery Bay. Welcome to the ocean. Eva. Eva. First up, little shrimp, big story. <laughs> Definitely some big shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, I already got shrimp. For 2,000 species of shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right, we got this tank. Got garden eel. Here we go. They bury themselves in the sand and just pop their little heads up. Got this next tank here. Got sea dragon. Leafy sea dragon, weedy sea dragon, sea star. There we go. There we go. Here's a sea dragon. Yeah, yeah, these things look like they're just uh, plant life floating in the water. But it's actually a live animal. Now, I'm looking in this tank. I don't see any sea star. And the only sea dragon that I actually see is this one right here. So we're gonna see some seahorse. So you're going to see some pipefish, lined seahorse, female, lined seahorse, male, neon gobby, chair pygmy angelfish, yellow prawn gobby, and spot tail gobby. Oh my goodness, I always enjoy seeing these little horses in the sea. Maybe they wrap their little tails around stuff. here at the bottom looks like it's sleeping. I thought he passed away but then it moved. The baby shark. And no, I'm not going to sing the song for you. Got flooding coastal ecosystems. Unwatered residence. All 
right, we got this next thing. There's no screen stating what exactly is in here. No, It's still really pretty. It's like a coral nursery. But there with you got some green anemone. And of course you're gonna have the Nemo's and Dory fish in here. Right, you got this gorgeous tank. Got stony corals. Got staghorn coral. Other type of staghorn coral. Guess they come in different colors. Scroll coral. Rose bubble tip and enemy. Plate coral. Red legged hermit crab. Plate coral. Pineapple brain coral. Another pineapple brain coral. Mushroom polyp. Mandarin dragonet. Marshall Island tricolor staghorn. Lawnmower blenny. Larry Jackson staghorn. Frog spawn coral. Firecracker coral. Encrusting coral. Disc coral and chalice coral. Yeah, all sorts of different stuff in here. No, they don't. They add the fish in here to make it a little bit more interesting, but the star attraction in this tank is, of course, the coral. Look at these. These are fun. Look at them. Look at them right there. Just gorgeous amounts of colorations and types. Alright, I just changed my filter. I actually forgot to do that when I first started doing this. So this filter is going to be more natural looking. Alright, we got Tide Pool. So this little tide pool, got Shiner Surf Perch, White Spotted Rose Anemone, Bat Star, Short Spine Sea Star, and Green Anemone. Yeah. Get old faux seagull up there. Where this water just dumps out everything. We got bottlenose dolphin. Suited for the sea. The rest of dolphins. It's a big old deep dolphin tank. Got something in its mouth. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a food. Okay. They're feeding them. Maybe is that food or is that a toy? No, well, that's a toy. Yeah, that's a toy. Yeah, that's a toy. <laughs> yeah, they're playing with toys. Like they're water dogs or something. Excellence and care. A Hawaiian monk sail. Dolphins of Minnesota? Whoa. Alright, we got 
shark reef. Oh man, we got this great big tank here. We see some green moray eel. Spot fin porcupine fish. Southern stingray. Green sea turtle. Got saving sea turtles. Got sand tiger shark. Treble jack and horse eye jack. So we got fish we'll see in here with them. Got the ray. Wait, there's another one. Do you know what fish that's called? Triple Jack. Because their eyes drop over there. Yep, it's called a squirrel. How pounds is it? Sharks in the back. Oh, here comes a shark. Come on. Dun 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 dun. Oh, there's a stingray. Oh, there's here comes a stingray. Them choppers right there, man. I think that's a sand tiger. Yeah. Oh um, no! Look at the stingray. It's right there. There's a stingray right there. Coral is alive and living. Look at this stingray. Look how cute he is. Another big shark going by. Of course, I always have trouble finding the moray eel. Because there's so many different places that they can be in. This tank goes back pretty far, also. Is one of the other sharks. Wow, that's a huge ray right there. Wow. Hey, wait for me. I see the green turtle also. I don't see that. Sharks. So yeah, trying to find the eel is going to be really difficult. It's usually around on the other side. Are they? So one of the other visitors here mentioned that the stingray is usually in one of these little holes here. Doesn't have to be poking his head out at the moment. All right, we got an estuary. All right, so we got horn shark, leopard shark, bat ray, and swell shark. This is a touch tank. Oh, there's a bamboo shark, I believe that is. Bye. 
right, so this area is fantastic also if you are a lover of aquatic animals. Sharks, amazing apex predators. All right, so I'm headed out the doors, next area. All right, so I've only seen a portion of this zoo and I'm very, very impressed with the layout and the overall design of this zoo. Fantastic place.